Hi guys. Hi. Hello everybody. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this episode of True Talk. Mm -hmm. And today we have a topic that applies to everybody. Nobody is exempted from, you know, this happening to them. But before we go on with the topic, let's just quickly go on a short break and we'll be right back. I'm a criminal. I'm no good to anyone. You are from a royal family. You are redeemed. You are sanctified. Why are you lying to me? Why are you believing the devil's lies? They are not lies. They are realities. When the devil confronts you with the realities of your past, you confront him with the realities of God's word. You can shut the mouth of Satan with God's word. That is the only voice he fears and listens to. When I covered you with that comforter, you felt love. Christ came and covered our wretchedness and filled with his pure white garment of righteousness. However, Many people like you crawl out of that garment and are exposed, naked, and ashamed. <sighs> Mrs. Johnson, what can I do? The Bible says, as many as believe in him, he gave the power to become the children of God. How can I believe in Jesus? How? James 4, 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will run away from you. Have faith in God. For without faith, no man can please God. I want Jesus. I want Jesus. Please just lead me to him. I want you. Let me pray to you, Doctor. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome. 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 We hope you enjoyed the short clip. So today, we're going to be talking about taking thoughts captive. Mm. <laughs> so basically, we're talking about thoughts. Mm. And I mean, I don't know if you've ever found yourself second-guessing yourself, mm. feeling you're not good enough or... You can't do something and then from that thinking you tend to start feeling bad yeah. and you feel oh i'm not worthy i can't do this maybe there's a, a task ahead of you you're supposed to do but because you already thought i can't do this and you start feeling oh okay then it's not possible it even shows in your physical composure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. so um like we said we're talking about thoughts oh. <laughs> where do thoughts come from or what sources mm -hmm. you know what what brings thoughts to our mind firstly i'd like to say god <laughs> yes. Yes. you know god has a way of putting um thoughts, thoughts. in our mind mm. and then we you know get to decide if we would take the thoughts or let it go mm -hmm. and one thing about thoughts is it comes but it doesn't mean that you have to accept every thought that comes to your mind it doesn't mean you have to accept it and take it and say okay yes this is the truth it doesn't also mean you have to let it go and say no this is the lie mm -hmm. so we have to as thoughts come you need to critically look at it and think okay see and see it and see where is this thought coming from what is the source of this thought that has just mm -hmm. come to my mind so from there we're not good let's just go into sources mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what brings thoughts to our mind mm -hmm. so i think first one i'll say is god yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah well um the same way god brings thoughts the devil also brings thoughts so it's very important to be able to see and understand mm. which is from where and you know like the saying goes that you can't stop your bed from flying over your head but you can stop it from landing from landing, landing and from building a nest mm. so the thoughts you may not be able to stop them from coming yes. but you have the right and the ability to stop it from dwelling yes, mm. yes. very true very true and just like we have um sources like god <laughs> and the devil we also have thoughts from ourselves from our mm. minds so some people might believe that it's either god or but satan yeah. <laughs> so if you are so if you're feeling like ah let me go and eat no the devil is making you not to fast i'm <laughs> going to fast today you might think the devil no it's actually your body oh, yes. you know god created your body so your body has needs that you have to meet up to unless God is expressly telling you to fast because mm -hmm. he can speak through our thoughts. Yes. So we also mm -hmm. have, 
you know, um, thoughts from ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I like to just mention that accepting a thought yes. depends, depends on, on the, the source. source. Yes. Yes. Depends yes. on the yes. source. So if it's from the devil, you know, they are meant to <laughs> you know, cast it aside. Yeah. But if it's from God, you know, they were meant to accept it. I'm going to go into how we know mm -hmm. if, a, if a thought is from God or, or the not. devil. So. Yes. So how do we know? <laughs> <laughs> how do we know where the thought is coming from? <clears throat> okay, if, it, if it's from God, God's thoughts any thought that contradicts the word of God is not from God. So yeah. if a thought is in line with the scriptures, with yes. God's promises for you, mm -hmm. it's from God. And mm -hmm. if the thought also brings peace, irrespective of what you are going through, maybe sick in your body and, yes. and then they are having thoughts of you are healed, stand mm -hmm. up and walk, yes. then you can know that this thought is not from the devil, it's from God. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the, those are two of the points as to know that this thought is from, from God. God. And then, I mean, if the thought is contradicting the word of god it yeah. is definitely from the devil yeah. if it's something that you know propels you to sin it's from the devil <laughs> so yes it's a bear sinful fruit yes mm. bear sinful fruit it's yes. definitely from the devil and then if the thoughts is also bringing fear anxiety feelings of depression you know that it is definitely from the devil but i'd also like to add to the point that ella raised that god can also speak to you through those feelings as well through through the feeling of uneasiness for example i have a personal experience somebody came and to my state or to the city that i was in and then I just thought that hmm, it would be a good idea to go and see this person. It has been a very long while we saw. But then as I was getting ready to go, that thought of seeing the person was just bringing this uneasiness, bringing this feeling of, you know, I was, I was just not comfortable with the feeling. Mm. And you could say that it's from the devil, but rather it's from God trying to ward me off something. So it was after I actually went to see the person because I felt it's been a while. So it was after I got back that I now realized that, oh, truly, it was actually God that was speaking <laughs> to me. I should not have gone because I just wasted my time there. Mm. Like I wasted precious time because I was busy at that mm. at the moment. So I just wasted my time there. So God can also speak through the feeling of uneasiness. But if we should just know that once we are having any thoughts, and it's births, anxiety, fear, feelings of depression, you don't feel good about yourself, it contradicts the word of God, then it's definitely from the devil. Mm -hmm. Very, very true. So we've talked about, you know, how to identify wh where the thoughts are coming from. So now we'd just like to go into how to overcome negative thoughts. Yes. How do you overcome negative thoughts? Um, I'll give a personal example of what happened to me recently. I was by myself, happy, excited, and different thoughts of maybe things that are not working the way I would like them to work started coming to me. And it actually started getting to me. I was trying to fight it off in my mind, but it was, it was like a struggle. And then there was one time I was praying and I received strength in the place of prayer. So one thing that works is prayer. Prayer helps. I received strength in the place of prayer that even though things are not working, that doesn't stop God from being God. That doesn't mean that it, it shouldn't make me ungrateful for all the things that God has done. So look at the things that are working around you. And even if things are not working, God is able to do the impossible. So the devil has a way of, you know, magnifying little things. If you, if you say, <laughs> I wish you knew the things that were being magnified in my mind. And when I think about it again, I'm like, really? Wow, just <laughs> like very insignificant um, thoughts of things that are not, you know, working. So prayer really works and standing on the promises of God, it mm -hmm. really helps. Mm -hmm. Asking the help, the, yeah, standing on the word of God, using the word of God to combat, you know, those negative, negative thoughts. thoughts. I heard somebody say that we have AM thoughts, that mm -hmm. is AM starts for against me thoughts. And then we have FM thoughts, which is for me mm -hmm. thoughts. Just like, you know, the way you tune a radio, you can tune to AM or FM. Mm -hmm. That's the same way you can tune your thoughts mm -hmm. from AM to FM. So from against me thoughts to for me mm -hmm. thoughts. Mm -hmm. So whenever those against me thoughts come, you just combat tune in, it. combat it by tuning in. What does the word of God say? So find a word of God that, you know, contradicts what those negative thoughts are saying. Mm -hmm. And that's just why it's important to store God's word in yeah. Yes. You don't just store it for the now. You store it for, you, mm -hmm. you don't know when, you know, you will need it and exactly. just fetch it out. So it's very important to store God's word in our mm -hmm. heart. Yeah. Yes, very true. So prayers and, you know, dwelling with the word would really help in combating negative thoughts. Another very important way to combat negative thoughts is us investing in our relationship with the Lord, yes. investing in our secret place, giving time to Him and spending time with Him. Mm -hmm. Because once we behold Him, we become like Him and our mm -hmm. mind is renewed. Yes. You know, the Bible talks about how we are to wash our minds with the water of His Word. Mm -hmm. And truly, as we behold Him, we become like yeah. Him. Because thoughts or not, they all happen within our minds. <laughs> and so, one of the greatest battles is the battlefield of the mind. And mm -hmm. the devil always, the devil yes. strives to win Christians 
it, with this mind, mind because yes. everything starts from our imagination yes. starts from our mind so we have to really give time to prayer to the word of god and to invest in our relationship with the lord that is spending quality time with him spending so much time with him so let me just say this last part um one man of god i mean we we so many of us are guilty of this. We often say that, oh my God, I have so many things to do that I don't have time to pray. I have so many things to do that I have to, I have to get out of the house and do things, do what I need to do. But Martin Luther actually said something. So he, he actually said that so many times you have so much to do in a day that you'll have to wake up earlier to pray for three hours. Wow. And I'm like, <laughs> that, that, that doesn't add up like if that's what it is today just go out and do it mm. but rather he said uh, that he has to pray more to achieve those things he needs to do and that is somebody that really really enjoyed his relationship with the Lord because he has seen the Lord as his source he has seen the Lord as the place where he knows he is safe where his mind is shielded from evil because if you don't give yourself to the Lord then your mind will be open to attack mm-hmm. so we should always invest in our relationship and our personal time with the Lord. Yes, and also to add to that, I also said confession. That is place of confessing. Confessing it out. Let your ears hear it. So yes. confess, cast the thoughts down. Bible says in Second Corinthians ten fifteen, casting down imaginations and everything, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Some of these thoughts are very stubborn. Yes, you will think it away. You will do it away. But until you confess it, until you literally like say, I cast you out. Yes. and you combat it with the word of mm-hmm. God so you have to be intentional about yes, it yes, to yes. take active steps not just be like it will go away to go yes. away. So you, they will just keep lingering mm-hmm. and before you know you begin to dwell on it you know sometimes mm-hmm. fear just comes yeah. very subtle yeah. it's not just very comes true. and you begin to just dwell on mm-hmm. it and before you know it, you are fearful you are anxious yes, you are scared yes, mm-hmm. so, so just take that step be, an, mm-hmm. be active and be intentional about it yes very very true be active and intentional, intentional. about it so if you find yourself feeling a certain kind of way and you're like, I don't know why I'm feeling like this, try and trace back your thoughts. Think about what has been going through your mind. You you might actually just find that it's a thought that came to your mind that is mm-hmm. making you feel, that you're allowed to settle, that is making you feel that way. So please, let's be intentional mm-hmm. in paying attention to what we are thinking about, to the thoughts we allow and the thoughts that we disallow. Discard. Well, yeah, the ones we discard. So now we just like to talk a little bit about, you know, how to, you know, capture the positive aspects, mm-hmm. the positive thoughts that come because I mean the thoughts will always come and if you don't believe what God is telling you mm-hmm. you may not see it mm-hmm. <laughs> so as God is bringing positive thoughts to you 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 know you lay claim yeah. Yeah. you hold it you yeah. receive it yeah. faith is the substance of things hoped for evidence of things mm-hmm. not seen yeah. so even if the circumstances around you is saying otherwise God has said it and he's able mm-hmm. more than capable to mm-hmm. do it mm-hmm. so receive accept it and you know walk with the thoughts that god has dropped in your yes. mind yes so just to butcher and and you know to add to what she said is the fact that when these thoughts come um, usually maybe a, a word from god just pops up in your mind latch mm-hmm. latch on this yes. because i remember one time am robbers came to our the house beside us around like 1 3 a.m and i was really scared like oh my god our house will be next that's what was coming to my head and the word of god just hit me that mm-hmm. question was in Egypt or beside Egypt and all the negative ha- things that happened in Egypt nothing came near Goshen mm-hmm. and I had to just immediately catch that this house is Goshen mm-hmm. nothing is coming here no things are coming here and I just had peace all of a sudden mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. the word when the thoughts come when the word come don't mm-hmm. let it pass by just exactly. grab it and begin to confess and begin mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. hold on to it don't let it mm-hmm. don't let it pass by it's yeah, very very true, true. And then um, there is there is this common saying that talks about how um, when we renew our mind, we renew our life. Mm-hmm. And um, before we start expecting positive things to start happening mm-hmm. to us, we have to first change our mindsets, yeah. change our thoughts, change what we listen to, change what we mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just like you said, confess positive things. So there is so much power when we take in um, affirmative words, mm-hmm. when we take in positive words, especially scripturally based words, mm-hmm. when we take those in because the best part is that the bible that we're reading their spirits and their life so they are not just words or speech written by um, a, a scholar or mm-hmm. whatnot they are actually spirits and life so they have the power to transform your life yes. when we meditate on them yes. so we need to learn to meditate on the word of god mm-hmm. ruminate on them just like david did and just like david said that he does on his bed every night he meditates <laughs> on the word of god so we should Develop the habit of meditation, meditating on the word of God day in, day out, and then we'll start seeing the manifestation in our day-to-day activities. Yes. Mm, yes. So, 
Mm. In conclusion, <laughs> be intentional about the thoughts you yeah. you know capture, the thoughts you allow in, and mm -hmm. the ones you discard. Yes. Guard you your heart. Yeah, your heart. Perhaps for twenty three. Yes. All diligence. Guard your heart. All diligence. <laughs> <laughs> so we believe that you've been blessed by today's episode. Um, Ella. Did you just pray for us? Thank you. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we say thank you for your word. Thank you for teaching us the place of our thoughts and how to take negative thoughts captive and how to also receive positive thoughts. Father, we pray for the grace to go and do likewise according to what you have thought to us in Jesus' Amen. name. We pray that we will not get enslaved by negative thoughts, but we will take authority and our, we will take our place in Christ in Jesus' Amen. name. Father, if there are people who have been captives of negative thoughts, who have been enslaved and are suffering in fear, in depression, in anxiety, because of this thought, Father, we, we decree that they are set free in the Amen. name of Jesus. Father, we, we decree that they receive the ability, the grace, and the strength to break loose from such Amen. holds in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we ask that you will help us renew our minds with Amen. your word. Help us to, to constantly remind ourselves of your promises and to live according to your purpose and plans for our life in Jesus' Amen. name. Thank you, Lord, for our Thank prayer. You, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you guys for joining us today. Thank we you. Believe that you've been blessed. You can follow us on our social media handles. That is True Talk with Ted on Instagram, and you can always send us an email at True Talk with, the, with at Ted at gmail.com. Gmail. Oh. Mm. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.